some belief that they could do the unthinkable, sneak into finals, uh, is is an Avondale side, and also an Avondale side that are missing some uh, some big names, Steve. It absolutely is, and both sides have had a few injury woes of late, so we see, as you say, Lockie, there's four changes to Zoran Markowski's side from that team that beat the Eastern Lions here last week, having to come from behind to do so as well. Stefan Zinni, Yitay Towns, the new goalkeeper Tom Yonkerman and Blake Carpenter all come in to the starting 11 and Bon Scott drops to the bench along with Yusuf Ahmed. Gol Gol Mabratu is of course out injured after pulling his hammy in the first minute last week also. I do think uh, an attacking midfield presence like his is what the Thunder have been missing and here he gets a chance on the ball. He slipped it through for Frangie. It's loose for Frangie and diving down to his left. Tom Yonkerman a first save in Avondale Colours for the Dutchman. And Agwek who scored the hat-trick last week it will be Boland who warms the palms of Noah James. Got his body down and across and behind it. Of course, scored that uh, late winner here three weeks ago in the match against Hume. His Towns is going to try his luck from distance. It was a crowded penalty area and it was blocked away well. And Cav McGill will win the free kick as signalled by the... Oh, it's a good steal by Lockhead. Chased by Carpenter. He's going to try the shot from distance and test out Tom Yonkerman. Good technique by the Dutchman. Without him isn't ideal. I think they've lost three of their five games for the year without him as Mika, with a speculative effort, I guess it did sit onto him, I call them. That's what you can do. There's a corner before the break here. Rika Bene sending it in towards the penalty box. Edge of the box and blocked before the line by the Thunder defence. The shot coming in from Yite Towns. Dial here. Can't get through the wall of red and black though. He's going to give away the free kick there and he's going to incur the wrath of the Dandenong Thunder fans in front of us. And he goes into the book, does Liam Boland, the third player to be shown a yellow card by Michael Mammoth this first half. Right on the final second of the half it is too. Good chance for Yusuf Ahmed to uh, maybe be a game breaker here, the fresh legs going uh, toe to toe with Dennis Yildiz in this wide area right in front of our commentary position. They've turned it over here and Frangie tries the pot shot. Did Yonkerman get a touch? No, says the referee. It's a goal kick. That is the danger that Anthony Frangie has. Beanies for the cold at the moment as Ahmed plays this inside for Katabian who brings it under control. Ahmed continues his run and he's got options out to this left hand side. It's parried away by James. I do like to score either side of the half. Great ball looking for Josh Meeker and the dink over the top. Josh Meeker has done it for Dandy Thunder. They've been second best to start the second phase. But a delightful ball over the top playing in Josh Meeker. And the delicate little chip over the top. Of course, I mentioned at the start of the game that Avondale have only lost the once to Thunder and it was earlier this season. They've never lost on their home turf and might be another chance in the offing here for Josh Mika and he's put it right into the path of Yonkerman. 20 now it's Katabian to take the in swing here it's a low one and it's repelled at the front post by McGilp and he sends in a rainmaker this time Hilly is at the back post the taller figure wins the header floats it back in it's away by James Katabian and Towns he's already fired a shot from distance already today doesn't get a chance to get the shot away this time. Looks like we're going to see uh, Kali Lu Kamara is one of those players coming off. Also Joey Katabian and uh, a couple of fresh faces coming on including the super sub Liston Diaz and the other player I think was Dylan Jakupi as well if I'm not mistaken. Indeed you are. Wow I didn't even know that it was at Kingston Heath. Carpenter's going to go direct and the bounce is never an easy one to deal with as a goalkeeper but fourth place and can you believe, Steve, that we would be saying that about Heidelberg in the top four after the start to the season they had? Uh, quite simply, the answer is a very deadpan no. <laughs> uh, we'll stay with play here as Ahmed sends the ball to Burkhant. Now Towns is going to shoot from distance. You say oh. Towns! And he sees a spectacular save by Noah James who got fingertips for that one to are expressing their views, you would think that this is no lay down Mazaire for them to hang on as that's flicked onto the back post area. Carpenter's there, it's 
off the post behind the goal, off the, the stanchion perhaps, or the... Jakupi's going to stride forward. He's got no blue shirts directly in front of him, but there is options in the middle if he can get space to find the cross. He's looking for that space, but Mika is going to try and force him back, and headed by Diaz, and now Boland is over the bar. And in the end, that was actually one of the better attacks that Avondale have had this afternoon down the right-hand side, and... In ...territory for Thunder now, although a chance here for Carpenter, and he's fired it over the top of the goal. He's had a phase of play from which Avondale have been so potent recently. Rika Bene into the path of Carpenter, hitting the byline, cut back, and a great save from Noah James. Still alive in the area, Boland trying to free the feet. Uh, Thunder just need to clear their lines here, they still can't. Eventually, Scott Lockhead going down, and Carpenter won't get the chance to strike on goal. And here's a corner to be taken by Riccobene into the near post. It's headed away by Orr. Back to Riccobene. Can he get the cross in? Oh, it's a wasteful one. Crashes into the fencing. As we tick into the fifth minute of stoppage, and it's been turned over by Yite Towns. Scott Lockhead, the chance to kill the game, and he's just completely fluffed it. And it is the three points going back to George Andrews. The Thunder keep their finals hopes alive. It's a devastating result at home for Avondale. But Josh Meeker is the difference in this match.